Okay, this is the uh, actual part one of the relativity uh, uh, sequence. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I called the first, second part, part one, but I wanted to address this issue of what happens when you're going, if you're driving almost the speed of light and you turn your headlights on. Um, this question comes up a lot uh, by comedians, non-scientists, and occasionally even scientists. Okay, the problem is, the uh, principle of relativity is that you are stopped and everything else is moving around you. As the observer, everything else is moving relative to you. There is no way that if you're driving in a car, um, there's no way inside the car that you can tell how fast you're moving. The only way to tell how fast you're moving is by looking outside the car and comparing its velocity to yours. So the idea here is not to think you're traveling at the speed of light. The question is, how does everything else move around you since you are standing still? The only time you're not standing still is when you accelerate. So everything is stationary relative to itself. And so whenever you think in terms of an object moving the speed of light or moving at a speed other than stationary, it has to be either two cases. One, one that object is not you. Or two, you are accelerating, which means you are changing from a point where you're moving, where you're not moving, to a point where you are moving. And then you can compare those two uh, realities of, uh, of the before and after picture. Uh, and in both the before and after, you perceive yourself to be standing still. So at a, each moment in time, you have a specific velocity and you have a specific reference frame from which you are viewing the universe. Thank you.